Hello viewers and welcome back to an episode with me, Bell Nation. Since we last met, we played Derby and we've drawn 2 all. We were 1-0 up, went 2-1 down in the 85th minute and then we scored a last minute goal. We beat Barnsley 2-0, which I thought, good, positive performances ahead. And then it all went wrong against Bristol City. As you can see, we went down to 10 men in the 45th minute and Bristol City scored in the 47th and we just couldn't get back into it. Two big games coming up, Sunderland who are 23rd in the table and Watford who are 3rd in the table. This is currently the league table, we're 21st at the moment, obviously we're doing quite poor. Needs to look at improving results otherwise the board could think about maybe replacing me. There's no hint of that yet but obviously that could change if results don't pick up. Even if we get 4 points today that'll take us up to 13th, which 13 points rather which would take it up to 16th in the table, going on if everyone above us was losing every game. So we'll wait and see what happens. The board are currently satisfied with my performance as manager, but this could change quite quickly. Two big games coming up today. We'll kick off right away against Sunderland, so let's get into it. This formation again, we did this, we drew with Derby, we beat Barnsley and then we lost to Bristol City. So... It seems to be going okay. Lineup is long and goal. Back four, Dakovic, Schmidt, Burke and Flanagan. In the midfield, you've got Henriksen with Scott and Lewis Potter on the wings. And behind the striker, you've got Smith and Irvine with Balog leading the line. Let's see how we get on against Sunderland today. Sunderland, one of the newly promoted sides here. So I would hope we'd be able to pick up three points against them. Let's scroll this table down. Let's realise where we are. Nine minutes in, no real highlights. We, Like I said, these are the teams that we need to be beating if we want to save our job at the moment. I know I suggested playoffs at the start of the season. That's, there's still a long way to go for us to achieve that, but we really need to turn the form around soon. Otherwise, we'll just have no chance. Best highlight comes to us. Henriksen with the corner and Schmidt. Second goal of the season. Meets it with his head. Great goal. First highlight of the game and it's come for a goal. Henriksen with a great corner. Schmidt unmarked. Runs in. 1-0. Powerful header to stick it past the goalkeeper. Great stuff. Great stuff. Sunderland have only had two shots. They've had none on target. Very happy with this coming up to half time as we've only had the one highlight. Although there's another one here. Henriksen with the corner again. Oh, it was almost 2-0. Henriksen, can he get the cross in now? He can. Lewis Potter, 2-0. Get in. That is what we needed. Two good goals. Beck, I thought he was going to get a, going to get the ball in then. Sunderland couldn't clear the line. Henriksen gets his ball in. Lewis Potter beats his defender on the, on the best side. And that's it. 2-0. Just before half-time. Perfect time to score. Great first half, let long may it continue in the second. Here we are, second half underway. I noticed Watford were losing at half time. So if they lose, hopefully they'll be a bit down going into our game and it will affect their confidence. Balog as he gets through, just can't get it on target. Or can't get it past the keeper, sorry. Henriksen with another corner. Um, Yes. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what Berk's done there. That was awful. Oh my word, I don't know what he was thinking there. But we've got another highlight. Scott Britt's down on the right. Tries to get it across, but Sunderland get it back. But we've got it back again. Scott, off the post. Oh, that would have been three. That was so close to being three. I thought we were going to do it then. Make a substitution in a minute. After this highlight, as Irvine breaks the ball forward. Brings it forward now. Weird deep cross to Dakovic, but it's worked. Playing it around the midfield. Lewis Potter, back to Dakovic. Smith. Unleash the shot. What a way to score your first goal. Let's have a look at that in the 3D. That looked unbelievable. Let's check this out. Great bit of play here. I thought we were going to get dispossessed, but we didn't. Dakovic, lovely back heel to Smith, and then hits an absolutely wonderful strike into the top corner. 3-0 Hull City. Give us the three points. Thank you very much, Smith. 
another highlight here. Flanagan brings it forward, can't get it past the defender, but he picks it back up. Runs down the right, lovely cross to Dakovic. Henriksen back out to Flanagan, can he get the cross in? He does, uh, but Dakovic's had a go and it's not gone in, it's just gone wide. Another highlight here, we still can't make this substitution because of all these highlights. Irvine dispossesses in the midfield, gives it to Dakovic, who seems to have been through everything today. Smith's unleashed another one and it's just gone over, just gone over from Smith. We'll bring Dicko on because Balog's had a quiet game. And we'll bring Lopez on for Henriksen, who, although he's having a good game, he's on a booking, so it's not worth the risk on him. Really enjoying this today. Great performance. Hopefully we can carry it on against Watford. We've got another highlight here. Flanagan brings it down the right. What's he going to do? Is that M Mumba? He's, he's off. Second yellow card. That's it. He's gone. Sunderland down to 10. Dakovic now brings it forward. He's been challenged. Is this going to be another red card? That is. Sunderland are down to nine men. Wow. Can we make this count, really? No real highlights. I suppose they'll go really defensive now. But Flanagan with the throw in. Cleared away by Sunderland. Even if we just keep the clean sheet today, that'll be a really good start. Sunderland, too quick. Red cards there. Silly to get to get those so close together. Smith dispossessed, but Dakovic picks the ball back up, brings it down the left. Into De Silva, sprays it out to Scott, who gets there, skips past the fullback. Lewis Potter just gone over the bar. Lewis Potter with the free kick. Oh, he's hit the post. I couldn't work out where the ball was there. I wasn't sure where what was going on. Hit the post. Great performance there. Uh, 29 shots, that is unbelievable. Smith with his debut for the club and to score a goal like that, what a way to mark your debut. Great, great, great performance. Very happy with that. I think we need to praise the, praise the boys there. Very happy, they look delighted. Hopefully we can take that form forward into the Watford game as they lose 3-1 to Luton. So they'll be going in with to the game with the tail between the legs let's hope they're not after revenge great start to the episode you join me back for the game against Watford starting 11 today is long and goal back four of Elder, Schmidt, Beck and Flanagan Henriksen in the middle with Samuelson and Lewis Potter on the wing Irvine and Smith behind the striker and Waydan up front looking to build on a big performance after the Sunderland game and Watford losing let's see how we get on here we are then you join me for kickoff we've got Watford have got Luis Suarez up front. It's not the Luis Suarez though, unfortunately. Well, thank I say unfortunately, thankfully. As they come down this right, and here he is, the man in question, Suarez. Cuts inside and unleashes an early shot and long deals with it. I was worried that it was the Luis Suarez and questioned how they got him, but he's not. it's not, thankfully. Long, out to Burke. Schmidt now. Burke, back to Flanagan. Elder, with a poor ball. I don't really know who, who or what he was looking for there, but no one was there. Watford pick it up now and bring it down this, bring it down the flank. But Elder picks it back up into Henriksen. Smith, Henriksen again, Irvine, back to Smith, drives forward. Great ball out to Samuelson. Who, can he get the crossing can? Waydan is there, he meets it. It's 1-0, Waydan with his first of the season. Great finish, great bit of play again in the middle. I think we might have found the tactic to change our fortunes here, viewers. Waydan with a great finish there to nestle it into the far post beyond the keeper 11 minutes in we're one nil up very happy good start Watford corner oh I thought they were going to bring it back immediately but they've not but highlight now Flanagan Samuelson with I think he literally just passed it to Welbeck there but we've got it back again Flanagan on the right hand side Lewis Potter Flanagan's corner Flanagan's cross rather is met by Lewis Potter and we're two nil up 2-0 up here against Watford. Very surprised. But great play again. I can't believe that cross went all the way through to Lewis Potter. Who just sticks his foot out and he's scored. Great bit of play. 2-0 Hull City after 15 minutes. But Watford break here. Suarez has got him behind. But I think oh, he was offside. I was going to say I thought he had acres of space there. But he hasn't. Going up to 17th in the table at the moment. Two big games if we can, well, two big six points here if we can 
convert these. What am I on about? Talking about nonsense viewers to you. Talking absolute nonsense. Watford corner. It's headed away, but oof, they've rattled the crossbar from close. They've rattled the crossbar. They've got him behind Danny Welbeck. Unfortunately, it's come straight through there. Free kick wasn't dealt with at all. It was headed on and Welbeck wasn't picked up. He's got him behind and he's nestled it in to make it 2-1. Looking at the offside, yeah, he's the, the player that's knocked it on is, is miles on side. Welbeck's got him behind and that's it, 2-1. We have seen us fold here in this position before. Coming into half-time though, we're still 2-1 up. Back out for the second half. Big second half ahead here, especially to come out at 2-1 run, 2-1 in the lead at the moment, but Watford with the first highlight, bring it forward. Airvine's picked up a knock, we'll have to monitor that. And they've got him behind Watford, Luis Suarez has scored. Disaster, disaster a start to the second half that. Too easy, Sars not picked up on that, on that side. I don't know what the left back's doing there, I don't know what Elder's playing at, but he's not dealt with Sarah at all. I think we'll, we'll need to sub Jackson Irvine here because he's picked up a knock. We'll bring Scott on. See how he gets on. Watford highlight. And it's 3-2. Oh, no. It's been disallowed, thankfully. Danny Welbeck was a strayed offside. I'd, let's have a look. Marginal. Marginal, but he's offside. Counting our, counting our lucky stars here. It's still 2 all. Maybe need to tell the boys to just calm down a bit. Watford corner has gone over. The piling on the pressure here, Watford. Team look uninterested after my shout to them, which is not good. Bring Gomez on for, for Wadan, I think. So he's looking uninterested. And that's not what we need from the striker. Deep Watford free kick. Played back out to the wing. Pereira, who will be an asset to any team in this league, has just blasted wide. I'm hoping the highlights calm down a bit. We'll try and G the boys up a bit with some passion. Tell them to show a bit. Free kick to us here. Henriksen, what can he do? He's had a go. It's gone in. Oh my word. What a goal that is. I, can't, <laughs> I cannot believe that's gone in. Let's have a look at that. Oh my word. Yes, the keeper. He's made an absolute howler of a mistake there, and it's 3 2 to Hull City. Massive goal. Massive, massive game, these. Absolutely unbelievable. Well, there we have it, viewers. 3 2 Hull City. Before this game, if you'd have told me we'd have picked up three points, I'd have laughed at you. I know I said at the start of the episode, four points. To get six is unbelievable. That was special. That's right. No one did give us a thing. Excellent stuff. Two great games there. Henriksen, man of the match in both games. An 8.7 and 8.3. He's, he's just unlocked that midfielders for us these last two games. What we'll do is we'll leave it there for now. We'll play a few more games. I think we'll come back for Coventry and Cardiff. We'll come back for those games. If you have enjoyed what you've seen today, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again next time for more.